Priya. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching India Up Front, and I am Swati Joshi. Let's begin the broadcast with the biggest political story of the day. As the countdown to the 2024 Lok Sabha polls has started, the Congress is changing track. With a massive Bharat Jodo Yatra launched today by the party, Rahul Gandhi is at the helm of the affairs. The Yatra will travel from Kanyakumari all the way to Kashmir in an attempt to unite the country against what the Congress has called politics of divide and hate. Before launching the mega rally, Rahul Gandhi paid tribute to his father in Tamil Nadu's Sri Perumbudur and took a Khadi tricolor from the state's chief minister M.K. Stalin. Rahul Gandhi launched a series of attacks on the center while addressing a gathering in Kanyakumari. Let's first listen to what Rahul Gandhi said. That after so many years after independence, millions and millions of Indian people are feeling the need of a Bharat Jodo Yatra. India is the institutions that protect this flag. India is a free media that protects this flag. India is a judi judiciary that protects this flag. And today, every single one of our institutions is under attack by the BJP and the RSS. The idea is very similar to what the British used to do. Divide India, make Indians fight with each other, and then steal from the Indian people. Those days, it used to be called the East India Company. It was one big company that controlled the whole of India. Today, they are three, four big companies that control the whole of India. Well, the rally will crisscross the country from Kanyakumari to Kashmir, covering over 3,750 kilometers through 12 states and reaching its destination in 150 days. Congress looks at this rally as a bid to strike a connection with the people and create ground for the 2024 Lok Sabha polls, a claim that was met with cynicism. Listen. If Bharat Joro Jatra Karna hai, तो राहुल गांधी को यह यात्रा पाकिस्तान में करना सही है भारत में यात्रा करने से क्या फायदा होगा भारत तो जुड़ा हुआ है खंडित क्या हुआ पाकिस्तानी खंडित हुआ तो इसीलिए मैं राहुल गांधी को सलाह देता हूं कि भारत जोरो कार्यक्रम आप पाकिस्तान में लेके जाइए हेमंता विश्व शर्मा आजकल जहर उगलने का काम कर रहे हैं नए नए मुल्ला है पहले कांग्रेस में थे अब भाजपा में गए हैं तो नया मुल्ला ज्यादा प्यास खाता है ये संघ के कार्यालय में गए होंगे और उन्होंने अखंड भारत का नक्शा देखा कि पाकिस्तान मतलब वो उसी लाइन से कह रहे हैं कि पाकिस्तान जाए तो भारत जोड़ना है और ये भारतीय जनता पार्टी के लोग कहते हैं कि सारे मुसलमान को पाकिस्तान दे दो और पाकिस्तान को अखंड भारत में मिला लो तो फिर भेजने क्या मतलब है However, even before the launch, the grand old party had to face criticism when Robert Vadra's photos appeared in the Yatra posters. Many also questioned whether the intent of the entire Yatra was to unite the country or to unite the Congress party itself all over again in its demand to make Rahul Gandhi president. A question that was given more weightage when the Rajasthan chief minister himself, when Ashok Gehlot himself said that Rahul Gandhi is a natural leader of the party and he will bring together the party. Mind you, this is at a time when Congress has announced a purported schedule for presidential elections in October. न्याय करेंगे हमारे साथ में जो निर्णय करेंगे उस वक्त में ये अपना प्राणी देखते हैं ये हकीकत है गांधी परिवार की सबसे बड़ी खूबी मैं ये मानता हूँ वो नहीं देखता है ये मेरा है पराया है आज भी राहुल गांधी के पीछे क्यों पड़े हुए कांग्रेसियन कि राहुल गांधी प्राणी क well, this Bharat Jodo is to relaunch Rahul Gandhi and then to put him in the post of the president because uh, the members in the part, party are not accepting as the party president. So uh, instead of Bharat Jodo, they should first Jodo their party. I mean, that's the problem today. That party is not together. There are people in the party who are leaving, quitting party, who are raising questions in the party. And not only uh, elderly people, not only people like Ramana Vidal, youngsters like uh, Shergil also, both uh, people from all level of age are, are quitting party. 
सो वॉट इज द रियल एजेंडा ऑफ द यात्रा इज इट परिवार जोड़ो कांग्रेस जोड़ो एज द बीजेपी अलेजेस और इज इट टू यूनाइट द कंट्री एज द कांग्रेस पार्टी क्लेम्स लेट्स फाइंड आउट फ्रॉम आर पैनलिस्ट वी आर ज्वाइन बाय आर पी सिंह नेशनल स्पोक्स पर्सन ऑफ द बीजेपी वी हैव ऑथर डॉक्टर आनंद रंगनाथन ज्वाइनिंग ऑस ऑन द ब्रॉडकास्ट गार्गी नंदी रॉय political analyst joins us along with sanjay jha an author kamru zaman choudhary of the congress party is joining us uh, this evening as well and we have bhavana ramana actor and political analyst on the panel as well good evening to all of you kamru zaman choudhary there are a lot of layers and aspects uh, to this entire yatra and the kind of reactions that the yatra and the response that the yatra is receiving let's peel those layers one by one now the bjp has taken a jibe and these jibes have only intensified throughout the day bjp is saying the congress party first needs to unite the party itself भारत को क्या जोड़ेंगे पहले कांग्रेस को जोड़िए हाउ डू यू रिस्पॉन्ड स्वाति दिस भारत जोड़ो यात्रा इज नॉट जस्ट एन यात्रा इट इज अ रिवोल्यूशन इन द मेकिंग एंड आई एज अ कांग्रेसमैन आई कैन वेल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ द बीजेपी लीडर्स आर बीइंग रेटल बिकॉज दिस इज द फर्स्ट यात्रा एवर अंडरटेकन पोस्ट इंडिपेंडेंस वेयर वी आर टॉकिंग ऑफ यूनाइटिंग द कम्युनिटीज वेयर वी आर टॉकिंग ऑफ यूनाइटिंग द सोसाइटीज whatever yatras have been held by the uh, bjp leaders so far have been divisive in their nature i don't want to go into any specifics of their yatra but you see when a film star is not allowed to enter into a temple just because he made a comment some 11 years ago there are instances where people's uh, houses have been bulldozed because they have criticized the government policies there are instances when journalist went to cover events and they are languishing in jails this is the situation that we are now at present in india it's an attempt by the congress party and our leader rahul gandhi ji to unite the different sections of the society make the youth who have never seen the mandal kamandal or the babri agitations till now since their birth to remind them of our glorious past of our glorious history and make them proud indians once again that's the main motto of the yatra time are you saying or is the congress party saying we are not proud indians at this point of time and that our country is broken and the congress party is trying to bring everyone together is is, is that what you're saying so i think there is a difference between you are a proud indian or i call that a pseudo nationalist why i call that uh, in such a way because you know who is a nationalist and who is not a nationalist it seems that we have to take the certificate from this so called nationalist the pseudo nationalist there is a difference the nationalism when we fought the independence movement you name one leader of the rss who participated in the freedom struggle of the country till date after 75 years we are yet to yet to acknowledge the the the, the, the what you call this the the balidan of the gandhi family we have they have lost one of their grandmother one of their father they, this is the sacrifice to the, the nation of the yatra now again you know i am asking you these questions because you're bringing up multiple points now is that the agenda of the yatra to remind the country of the sacrifices made by the gandhi parivar and if that is also not only the, the gandhi parivar then the bjp stand is indicated in saying that the parivar is above the party no 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 i told you the youth of this country they have not seen the mandal kamandal agitation they have not seen the babri agitation they have not seen the 1985 uh, uh, narsingar 84 uh, they have not seen they need to be reminded of the history that wherever we went into a divisive okay. so mode this country has country bharat, has bharat, lost bharat. the about, country society has lost BJP. now it's the time to time to restitch okay. our alliances between between different societies hmm. that's the main alliances main motto societies. of this yatra all right alliances with restitch alliances with so societies and the conclusion that one would draw after listening to you is more than bharat jodo yatra it sounds like an anti bjp yatra rp singh the allegation is that whatever yatras were carried out by the bjp after independence they were not to unite the country they were to break the country and what is bjp's problem is bjp rattled that the congress party uh, under the leadership of rahul gandhi is carrying out such a massive yatra in the country and that it may actually have an impact because yatras in the past have had changed fortunes of the parties swati uh, if i have to start with this that this yatra idea is of 2000 This is 2022 today. Is a borrowed idea of earlier times, and now they are trying to copy it. But the Congress has Congress. I mean, they they don't have new ideas of governance. They never had new ideas of governance. Neither they have new ideas of reviving their party. But the gentleman was talking about the country has been divided. Let me give you some figures. 
871 riots took place in Congress regime. 243, uh, 243 happened in Jawaharlal Nehru era. 337 happened in Indira Gandhi rule, and 291 in Rajiv Gandhi's uh, regime. And also, even in Sonia Gandhi's remote control regime, there were riots which happened in Muzaffarnagar, Bharatpur, and and uh, uh, Kokrajhar. When these are few which I mentioned, there are many other. And what are they talking about? I mean, they are talking about communal uh, tensions, and they are talking about that they are going to join India on on basis of some some agenda. Who has alliance with SDPA in Karnataka? Who has alliance with AIUDF in Assam? Who had alliance with Indian okay, Union Muslim the League in Kerala? Speed, Who had alliance with Indian Secular Party? Uh, in, in, give me a second in West Bengal. Did I interrupt you, sir? Please. No, that is so, party, party and party seconds. who has been known for having alliance with Muslim leagues or, or party or, or pa parties which have an agenda of communalism in okay. country. The, they, they are talking about I, Bharat Jodo. Okay, you are saying the Bharat Jodo is just relaunching, trying to relaunch. Hold issue? on, gentlemen. On the issue, on the issue of communalism, but I, I want to bring in Sanjay Jha because Sanjay Jha is very interesting. Uh, Rahul Gandhi, of course, uh, is leading the entire yatra. Many are saying that Rahul Gandhi first needs to focus on the party. Pehle Bharat ko jodne se, Congress party ko jodna zaruri hai because the Congress party is imploding from within. Tall uh, leaders, stalwarts are quitting the party. There are several other uh, veterans who are demanding transparency within the party. So a party that itself is uh, shrinking in the states and imploding from within, how would that party be able to uh, unite India? Uh, Swati, a very valid question, but a quick rejoinder to my friend R.P. Singh. Uh, Mr. Singh, your own government told parliament that between 2016 to 20, there were 3,400 riots in India. So kindly get your facts right. Anyway, Swati, your question is extremely germane. And I do believe that the Congress party has to do a couple of things at the same time. Please remember that the party doesn't work with blinkers on. Uh, today, any political organization has to multitask. So you've got to be ready for the Gujarat and Himachal elections. While the Padhyatra is on, you have to have your presidential election. It's not either or. You know, these are not mutually exclusive. So political organizations that have been part of it, I can tell you, they have talent, they have a certain structure or process, and all these things can happen at the same time. But you know, the critical question that you raised, I think deserves a response, because mm. at the end of the day, the Congress will have delivered electorally. And uh, one of the purposes, I think, of the entire Bharat Yatra, I believe the Congress is doing it late in the day, but better late than ever, and I think, you know, you heard it in Rahul Gandhi's speech. He's invoking the point that the British divided India through the divide and rule policy and ruled over us. And we all know his that matter. And, and the Congress is convinced about it, that the narrative that the BJP has polarized India on principally on religious lines, using that aggressive Hindutva campaign to basically win elections and not govern the country, which is why it links to price rise, you know, inflation, uh, unemployment, you know, the destruction of institutions. I think if Rahul Gandhi uses this platform intelligently, okay. gets the political messaging across, there are multiple events held over the 150 days. Hmm. And you know, Swati, you, you are part of the media. No one can ignore the Congress till, till I think, till the cows come home because the party remains, despite being diminished and dwindled to 52 seats, one of the few formidable political organizations that can actually take on the BJP. Hmm. And frankly, you never know with politics, even defeat it. Okay. So I believe if the Congress leverages its political messaging, Rahul Gandhi is able to actually galvanize the cadres of the party. And I think at the end of the day, politics can change dramatically. Okay. As you rightly mentioned, Yataras have a spectacular impact on people. Hmm. You know, just take one, one example, Swati. Rahul Gandhi walking, you know, 3,570 kilometers. I think, you know, even his worst critics will have to concede that is humongous. But and will if the that party is able to connect? sustain it, you know, ultimately story. there should be an impact. I can't hear you, Swati. 
ultimately electorally there should be some impact and will he be able to connect with the people is my question. I'm going to bring in Dr. Anand Ranganathan. You know the political blame game aside, technically speaking, as far as the history of Yatra is concerned, Dr. Ranganathan, not just national parties but regional leaders like Akhilesh Yadav, uh, Digvijay Singh in Madhya Pradesh and Jagan Mohan Reddy have benefited from their Yatra. Do you think Rahul Gandhi would be able to create an impact? Good evening, Swati. I'm very confident that through his Bharat Jodo Yatra, Rahul Gandhi will manage to unite India against the Congress. <laughs> because as long as you have a party where a man in his 50s is still called the youth leader, where he can preside over one electoral defeat after another but is still evolving, where he can lie on an industrial scale and even apologize to the Supreme Court, but remains the beacon of truth, where your compatriots are more meritorious, but they will never upstage you, where you indulged in tragedy porn and visit the victims of crimes in a BJP state, but ignore the victims of similar crimes in a Congress state, where you keep people poor through socialism, but become rich yourself, where you oppose the very farm laws that you promise in your manifesto, where you stomp on the human rights of a million, but oppose the abrogation of the law that allowed it where you and your family ban books, arrest poets, writers, journalists, storm or burn down newspaper buildings, impose the emergency, but you still claim to stand up for freedom of speech and expression, where politics is in your shirt and your pants, but your kurta pocket is torn, where you toil for an hour amid the poor and then take a week's vacation to recover, where you demand persecuted Hindu refugees be brought to India and given citizenship, when you in your power oppose it when you are out of power when you haven't excelled in anything but get to decide who gets the nation's highest award, when you are responsible for the state of our poverty, but poverty is a state of mind for you, where you hate Hindutva, but you run a government for three years with a partner that claims to love it, where you wear a Janehu over your coat and do a temple run before each election, <coughs> where you propose the bullet train when in power but oppose it when out of power, where you propose a new parliament building when in power but oppose it when out of power, where your party in the night in the wake of a terror attack but think fictitious saffron terror is the bigger challenge, where entitlement has changed your mind so completely that nothing grows on it, where your founding party has split more than uranium but you still insist it is the party of the freedom struggle, where every morning you wake up at night. So Swati, as long as you have a party led by someone with the aforementioned qualities, you will always unite India against the Congress. You'll have to give us a moment, Dr. Ranganathan, to gather ourselves because that was a long list of reasons why you feel that, that, that this, this Yatra is going to go against the Congress party. Kamru Zaman Chaudhary, uh, I don't know how many of those reasons you got, but uh, please respond. Uh, let me tell you... No, Anand is a very nice author. Yeah, can I, can I please? Yes, Mr. Chaudhary, please. Is a, is, Mr. Jai, I'll come back. Mr. Jai, I'll come back to you. writer, though I have not read even, of, even one of his books. Uh, there, is, yeah, there is no need I to can, I can, I can catch the fact, the frustration. Yeah, there, there's a, there, I can understand his frustration at the, uh, uh, rattled, how rattled he is at Rahul Gandhi undertaking such a yatra. If at all the yatra is successful, if the yatra is possible, is uh, is happening in India and is uniting the people of this country, is uniting the different communities of this country, then why are you so afraid, Mr. Ranandadatan? If you feel that Rahul Gandhi is nobody, is out there to destroy the Congress party, then so be it for you. Mm. Why are you so rattled? Let the Congress party be destroyed because of Rahul Gandhi. Ignore him. Let the people of this country expose people like you on national television who they feel that the Congress party is a gone case. Then why do you worry about the Congress party? Forget about it. Hmm. Nobody worries about it. Swati, can but I, then can please I, can ask the Prime Minister to answer a few questions that Rahul Gandhi ji will be asking over his yatra over the oh, next Dr. Ranganathan, 150 days. It's not just days. the BJP but even you are rattled and if Rahul Gandhi is actually yes. going to go ahead can, and can destroy the Congress party, let him. Why are you so yes. rattled? No, you know, to think that I will be rattled by someone who is still using a rattle and he's more than 50 years old. But to be honest, I must say Kamruji is absolutely fine. I encourage him to join Rahul Gandhi in his 3,400 liters of Yatra. Oh, sorry, kilometers of Yatra. <laughs> Kamruji, you must accompany him. Okay, I want to bring in Sanjay Jha. Like I said, there are several that aspects is, to this. That, that's another example. Okay, let's, let's, Kamru Zaman Chaudhary, Kamru Zaman Chaudhary, one second. I want to bring in Sanjay Jha. Sanjay Jha, 
uh, several aspects like i said another aspect was ashok gehlot's statement that gave this entire yatra a completely new angle ashok gehlot saying that it is only rahul gandhi who can unite the party if he comes back as the president it will be great for the party if this is congress party's uh, bharat jodo yatra why is rahul gandhi being projected in a particular manner is this a relaunch pad of rahul gandhi i'll answer that question but a quick response to anand ranganathan standard playbook of hyper ventilating with a rehearsed script Let me tell you, I think uh, I think Mr. Chaudhary is absolutely. This is not about me, Swati. Mr. Mr. Chaudhary is absolutely. On. No, no, one minute. Let me finish. Yeah. Don't interrupt me. In fact, I have don't always supported me. you. I now, don't interrupt me, please. Yatra, now, please don't interrupt me. If you are suspension can be removed, I will be the happiest person. You are sounding. Sanjay, you are you are the future of Congress. Hello, hello. Rahul Gandhi is the past of Congress. Please don't encourage Rahul Gandhi. You should be the president of Congress, and I will vote for you. Let us vote for Sanjay. If you become the president of Congress, I will vote for you, Mr. Jha. Okay, fine. No, no, You're getting a lot of support from the panel. But can you can't do it shouting uh, Narendra Modi is hosannas every day in the evening. The larger point, Swati, is this: that end of day, the way Anand and other people are mocking Rahul, uh, the way the lady is laughing away to glory, in my opinion, it's a manifestations of an extremely parochial mindset. You know, if tomorrow Narendra Modi loses, he will. Sooner or later, he will. Amit Shah becomes history. That happens in politics. You don't win all the time. There are no permanent winners and losers. But we should never lose political grace. I'm very disappointed with the conduct of Anand, Garthi, Oi, and R P Singh for mocking Rahul Gandhi. This is not the way. Hmm. I'm sorry. With due respects, this is not the way we are going to create any civility in our politics. But to answer your question, I think the Congress Party needs to understand that dichotomy. Uh, Swati, that end of day, Rahul Gandhi is a can be a great crusader for them. During the yatra, it's popular. Let me tell you, Congress people in the south they are hugely attracted by the Gandhi political brand, and I'm very sure that the the yatra can become a spectacular success if the Congress party does its events and media well. But when it comes to the Congress president, I still believe. the rahul should not take up that responsibility mm. running an organization creating a campaign strategy working with teams is where he has struggled so far and the party has talent why not bring in a priyanka gandhi sachin pilot combined and let them take the party Ram forward Ram i'm going to tell you this right Ram now Ram ask do a poll mm. with your viewers mm. and they will prefer a sachin pilot priyanka gandhi combined to a narendra modi amit shah combined that truly has in my opinion okay. been detrimental for india okay gargi nandi roy why is the bjp talking about uh, you know this being parivar jodo yatra it's not that there's no dynasty politics in other political parties so why mock rahul gandhi why mock congress party because it is very evident uh, you know swati i think it is not now since the time of indira gandhi see any political party like sanjay ji has said talked about uh, sachin pilot for any political party for its expansion there has to be a secondary and tertiary level leadership congress lacks that because of its psychopathic culture and that is from indira side indira is india india is indira and now it has gone to such high that without a proximity with the family one cannot be at the top post tell me swati who is the leader in congress who inspires some confidence and they are talk about hindutva they ridicule bjp but they are forgetting that congress does not have an alternative or constructive vision that has electoral resonance what is that vision and people at last 10 years they have gone through decolonization mr sanjay jha has to understand samru ji was talking about pride now the people of india are taking pride in their history in their glorious past which was Uh, Reduced by the Congress historians and all, so now they are. So now they are realizing what Congress has done. So what is that alternative to the cultural you know, nationalism okay. that Congress has to offer? No, can I, nothing can of that sort. So, and it is the relaunching of Rahul Gandhi, no doubt, and also launching of Badra, which is poster. It is very elegant. Yes, that is the third aspect. It is very clear. That, that is the third aspect. Badra, Ramana, is there a uh, lack? Is Sanjay. there really a lack of leadership? Lack of faces in the Congress party, Sanjay. or is the Parivar not willing? To not willing to one second or is the parivar not willing to accommodate another leader yeah sanjay ji tell me no, no, i i want, I want uh, bhavna ramana to respond to that please that i am not the person Ms. who can draw you please please let let bhavna ramana have spoken <coughs> 
Yes, whom do you want? Yeah, I'm not a person uh, who can use such humongous uh, words and then I do not have such kind of a language at all. So, and uh, in fact, I was really laughing through because I, I really have an appreciation for everyone who has a capacity of speaking it so well. I'm not the person at all who can really talk so nicely and so precisely and things of that. But with this Bharat Jodo Yatra, what I can say is politics in this generation has been turned out to be a social media, via social media the politics is happening, via media the politics is happening. So it has taken a different route altogether. I think Bharat Jodo connecting one to one, which will always appeal to the people, I am sure of it. Whether it is Mr. Rahul Gandhi, whether it is Mr. Narendra Modi also, it's been the same. Even Mr. Narendra Modi has got humongous response from the people. Whenever he has gone one to one on the Yatra, he has got the humongous response everywhere, whether it is Mangalore to Gujarat or koi bhi, kahi bhi, hmm. everywhere. So what people want is how well a person, a leader candidate, a leader uh, the persona of a leadership, who, how well that he or she can connect to them is always a question mark for every individual. One is that. And it can also be the other way too. It is also for a leader to understand the scenario. Unless you do not go, do not go to the ground level, how will you understand the reality? Reality is not about the social media. Reality is not the media. Yeah, in that case, reality is Ramana, something there are, there are two, where, where there are two quick points that I want to make. One, as far as Narendra Modi is concerned, uh, the response that, that he gets in the Yatra translates into votes during elections. Right. One. Two, is this also an attempt by Rahul yes. Gandhi in that case to connect with people yes. on ground zero? Is that what you're saying? So not just Bharat, Jodo, Yatra, but Rahul Gandhi is trying to connect with the people. What do you think? What's wrong that is going that? to there make him more appealing. Yes, there is no problem at all. Yes, yes, yes. It, uh, if it is an attempt, I will agree it is a very great thing. And why shouldn't be too? He hmm. should make an attempt. There is nothing wrong in it. And a person... A man who comes comes out and shows his face, even if it is ha even after his failure, is a real man. That is what I would want to say. Okay, a man who shows up despite failure is a real man. R P C. As Mr. Anand, he spoke so well. I mean, really spoke so well. Can I thank you? Can I thank yeah, you? After a quick uh, after a quick response from R P C. Thank you, Mr. Anand. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Bhavna Ji. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 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 Dr. Rangarathan, one second. Just, just a quick response from Jodo, BJP who... and I'll come to you after that. Well, Mr. Mr. Uh, Rahul Gandhi is talking about Bharat Jodo, man who doesn't know what Bharat is. I mean, he 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 talks about that Bharat is union of states. That that's his concept of the Bharat. I mean, he doesn't know that uh, in uh, in Badrinath, there the pandas of, of uh, Brahmins of Mudripath, Kerala goes. I, I want to come, on, sir. No, no. Let, let Mr. Singh finish. So they, they go and serve there and and. and Okay, R.P. Singh, you finish your point, please. And then Bra and, and Brahmins from uh, and Brahmins from uh, North India goes and serve in the mission. But, but for him, Bharat is just uh, after 1947. Before that, there was no Bharat for him. I mean, he, he doesn't know Bharat is a nation since ages. So that's that's what Bharat is. And then what is talking about Bharat Jodo? When opposing 370 uh, 370-35 is Bharat Jodo. So, uh, opposing surgical strike is Bharat Jodo. Opposing air strike is Bharat Jodo. Opposing GST, which is unified econ uh, country economically, is Bharat Jodo. Man, that's a concept of Bharat Jodo. And then man who can't differentiate, I mean, between the the uh, cow and the buffalo, the black cow and the buffalo, God bless him. Okay, R.P. Singh, Sanjay Jha wants to come in, but Sanjay... Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, Dr. Ranganathan and then Sanjay Jha. Miss Roy, Miss Roy, yes. I'll come to you as well. We, we, yeah, ha we have you. enough time. We have enough time. Yes. Dr. Ranganathan. No, I, I, just, I just wanted to say something. First of all, thank you very much, Bhavna Ji. I'm a big fan of yours, so I'm very grateful for your compliment. But uh, if we get serious for a minute, you know, I quoted about 18 facts, if I'm not mistaken. All of them are facts. Let me take out three from there and then you'll realize why you can have as many kilometers of yatra as you wish but if you are not serious or genuine people won't believe you hmm. like one of the facts i mentioned the farm three farm laws were in the congress manifesto okay. i can i can quote it chapter and verse to you
the same farm laws that are in a Congress uh, party's manifesto are then called black farm laws by Rahul Gandhi. Why would people believe him? When Rahul Gandhi says economy has to do well, at the same time, he wants to oppose the privatization of public sector units that are 1800, four of them are non-functional. Okay. How will nation progress? भारत कैसे जुड़ता है भारत आदमी अमीर बनता है तब जुड़ता है भारत फिलोसफी और यू नो ये मॉरलिटी और एथिक्स से जुड़ने वाली बात अलग है economy has to india has to become a middle income economy how will it become if all the reforms that this government is doing are based on those initiated by congress are now being opposed by rahul gandhi hmm. please answer this question bhavna ji yeah, sure Sanjay Jha yeah, like, wants to yeah, come in actually. Swati, we... let me just kind of enlighten. Swati, let me just enlighten Mr. Ranganathan because he's picked up the farm laws issue. Mr. Ranganathan, Please. do you know that the Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi, in Parliament in the first year as a Prime Minister, do you know how he mocked Manrega? He said yes. this is and going to be the living monument. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Sanjay, let me finish. No. Let me what's finish. Your point? Let me finish. What's your point? Let me finish. He mocked it. He said this he, is he, a, he a mocked manifestation. He, he mocked of the process of Mandrega. Guess he what? Said, the, the master of political hypocrisy and probably one of the people who has championed but lying but with a straight face has since shifted. only increased allocations what? for Mandrega. So can we do now? Goalposts have been shifted. Lectures. Sanjay will not Can answer. And Sanjay, you want to go to farm reform? Dr. Ramanathan is saying, and first of all, you disappoint me today. Rahul Gandhi does not know what Bharat is. Dr. Ramanathan is saying that he is... Because you were one of the few ones who were standing for the farm reforms. Okay. And now you are against farm reforms. Okay. Sanjay Jha, there are some uncomfortable, uncomfortable questions that Rahul Gandhi might have to face, uncomfortable issues that the Congress party will have to deal with. Is that going to happen during the Yatra 1? R.P. Singh of the BGP alleges Rahul Gandhi does not understand India to unite India. Please respond to the specific uh, uh, allegations. I think R.P. Singh's comment is far too pedestrian and puerile for me to even dignify it by responding to it. But let me just tell you, since one of the, the other panelists, Madam Roy, we talked about the let, let me let me agree with you this. Madam Roy, who, who, man who can differentiate between kilometers? But a BJP leader called Prime Minister Narendra Modi as Bhagwan, God. And one other BJP leader said he's the 11th avatar of Lord Vishnu. Jiko Finsi apne party mein dekhe, madam, apne hi aina ko dekha kijiye. Dusre par aarop lagane se sachai nahi padlega. Yeah, can I, can I make a quick question? Uh, uh, okay, I don't believe in those kind of days. Uh, I, Sanjay Chha, who said what? I'm not answerable for that. But I wanted to explain what Mr. Arkusen said about Bharat Joros party. Bharat Joro with the icon of Tupre Gang, Kanaya Kumar. Sanjay ji, do you remember Kanaya Kumar, the icon of Tupre Gang? He is now in Congress. He is talking about Bharat Joro, the Kanaya people Kumar who wanted to Kumar. break India into pieces. Kanaya Those Kumar are the people you take in Congress Kumar. and all your uh, veteran Kanaya leaders Kanaya are using you. So Kanaya what Kumar has to do that introspection? There has been a fight between old and the new guard. And in that fight between old and new guard, Congress doesn't know the external fight. So understand that I think Congress is an introspection. Bharat is unified. Bharat doesn't need. He, okay. Bharat does not need Rahul Gandhi or the Congress party to be united. Bharat is unified. Kamru Zaman Chaudhary. Kamru Zaman Chaudhary, come in. I just wanted to make a quick comment on Madam Gargi. Madam, Madam, can you can you just spare me ten seconds? Okay, Kamru Zaman Chaudhary, please. Yeah, can I can I I cannot shout over the others. Kamru Zaman Chaudhary, please. Yeah, Madam Gargi ji said just now that she is very proud in revisiting the history of the country. I am very sorry, Swati. Madam Gargi needs to know that once while visiting, revisiting the history, we find that a bulbul bird is being used by Savarkar to fly in and out of the jail in Andaman. That is the history that you people are teaching our students, our children. This is the level degradation that you people have brought into this country. By your only whims, to change the history, nothing more than that. No, you have renamed cities. Okay. You have okay. renamed. Will this, Rabana, will this change the fortunes of the party? Yeah, because the name will this change the fortunes of the party? 
Ma'am, okay. Ms. Ramana. Ms. Ramana. Now you come back to uh, me. Yes, one and I have one small plan. So. Ma'am, all right. Yes. All right. One by one. You asked one by one. Please, no, Ms. Ramana. No, agriculture reform bill was actually initiated. Earlier it was with the Congress. Farm bill, farm bill, you said that it was designed by the Congress and it was in initiated by the BJP. So, BJP always claims most of the programs it was actually initiated by the Congress and it has been effective after BJP, by BJP has been come into power. But I only have a small question here. Did BJP had doubt of creative people in it to come up with new programs of their own? Why did they have to oh, copy? Why or you working yeah. on Congress yeah. party? Yeah. Yeah. To they can work off of, of think tank and, and policy makers in the BJP RP Singh. Quick, quick rebuttal RP Singh, please, quick rebuttal. First, first let me tell Sanjay Jha, his party colleague said uh, army chief has Sadaqa Gunda, Sadaq Chha or Sadaqa Gunda, something, something of that language. So, how many of you are the same people who are the same people who are the same people? Are you seeing how many of you are the same people who are the same people? The country is talking about the same people who are 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 the same people Kamru Zaman Chaudhary, what was what was Mr. Vadra what was Mr. Vadra's pictures doing on the Yatra posters? BJP is saying ये परिवार जोड़ने का काम हो रहा है। So अच्छा what is your allergy with Robert Vadra? Can I just ask you that question? Is he tomorrow if I no no you just reply to me what is your allergy? If I like a particular person I can put it up. This is not an official poster of the Congress party. Ah. Some of the supporters have put it up. What is your problem? Sanjay Jha's photo, Calcutta will come and I will put his photo in my house. He will put it in my house. He is a suspended Congress member. That is my personal district for Sanjay Jha. The fact that he does not matter, the fact that he holds no official position does not matter. Whom do you call it a man? What is the problem? He is also part of India. Bharat is joining. की बात हो रही है बाड़ा भी बाड़ा भी इंडिया में उनका भी आ गया पोस्टर में फोटो तो क्या प्रॉब्लम है बीइंग इन द परिवार या कमरुजी कमरुजी इफ आई कैन कमरुजी इफ आई कैन थैंक यू नो स्वाति आई ऑन टू टेक व्हाटेवर टाइम इज ग्रांटेड टू मी 30 40 सेकेंड्स इन आंसरिंग द वंडरफुल क्वेश्चन if BJP is fulfilling all Congress's ideas, then why is BJP so bereft of new ideas? To that, I will say, Bhavna ji, two things. Number one, you very well know that those who discovered or invented the double helical structure of DNA were Watson and Crick. Usme Watson ka contribution kitna tha aur Crick ka kitna tha. When you are working for India, it is nothing like BJP's ideas or Congress idea. For example, Swachh Bharat, Ujjwala scheme. Jandhan Yojana, all these are landmark BJP ideas. But I am not any, they are wonderful Congress ideas. So when nation progresses, now, Kamroji, this is unfair. You know, this is unfair. Because I am complimenting the Congress. Here I am complimenting the Congress. I am commending Congress. Please don't interrupt. Please don't interrupt. Please don't. 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 Yes, at the end of the day, whenever a common citizen like us, Kamruji, votes for people like you, it is for four things. Bijli, Pani, Sadak, Toilet, Health. Now you can say, this was the common idea of the people or Congress idea of the BJP. These are the common amenities which every citizen must get. When you are working for India, there is nothing like Congress. Idea or BJP idea, you your job is to bring it on the table to basically make it possible. Okay, please. All right, all right. Dr. Ranganathan will continue to be with us on debate number two as well. That's but all the time I have for this big story, the biggest political development. BJP says this is nothing but Parivar Jodo and Congress Jodo, while the Congress party claims that this Yatra is to unite India. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.